is controlled by the Bearcats setting up with the W. Borstead. As we tip off here at 7.41 in the evening tonight as the outlet pass here's uh, Peyton Holberson of the basketball. They'll swing it over left side now to Miller. Miller almost lost the ball off her hands. Gets it back to now. Goes baseline. Looks for Quilva and can't find her then throws it away. Trying to go to Peyton Holberson threw it behind her. And the Cardinals will have it off a turnover. They'll have it for the first time at 7.45 to go here in the first. No pressure shown by the Bearcats yet anyway as Hart will dribble up top of the key. Both teams in kind of a man-to-man as the couple uh, Cardinals girls were watching Macy Quilvang in the paint there. But the Cardinals don't have it. It's Hetler has it top of the key. Hetler passed the corner to run again. Kelly a three from there and it's a little strong. Rebound comes to Worley. Worley shot no good but the rebound by Ronnie gets up and in. The Cardinals now will try a little pressure leading here two to nothing. 7-19 to go here on the first. Bearcats get at center court and yeah, they break the press to getting it across the timeline. Here with Quilvang. Quilvang up top of the key and brings it to Borstead. Borstead trying to get around Hart now, tries to get around Hitler. Stops her dribble, goes free throw line to Halverson. Peyton inside to Quilvang. And Macy cannot get a shot out. Kicks it out though to Borstead. She'll fly a shot from 19 and it's good. Borstead hits the open jumper. We're tied at two with 6.55 to play here in the first. Cardinals back across again and with it is Hart. Now to Hitler. Heller dribble it out by the timeline. And a pass left side is going to come to Worley. She'll fake a three. Drive down to the baseline. Now cut off. Looks in for Ronnie. Throws a pass over her head. But Aaron Crockett's going to track it down out by the half line. 15 seconds of the Cardinals shot clock. We're tied at two. Here is 6.35 to go in the first. This Crockett almost double dribbled there, but just to get the ball back down as Worley's got it. Worley looks at Hart. Couldn't get her the basketball. Five seconds of the shot clock. Hitler now is going to drive into the lane. Puts up a shot from 10, and it's too strong. Rebound again to Ronnie. She'll fake it. Have a shot out of bounds. BC Quilvang. Cardinals will keep it though as the shot clock uh, resets for the Cardinals and they'll inbound underneath their basket. So Cardinals inbound to Hetler left corner. She'll bluff a three. And now go across up top of the key to Hart. Maddie, a quick three. It's on the way. And it's on the way. No good. Another offensive rebound here by the Cardinals. And it comes to Worley. He's going to be tied up by Quilvang. So a jump ball, I believe, the possession error will keep it with Langdon at Moore Munich. They'll inbound again. The other new shot clock will inbound to the baseline. Inbounds comes right inside as they uh, work a pass under Crockett. Throws up a uh, shot off the glass. It's no good. Rebounds battle for inside, and Peyton Halverson will wrestle it away from two Cardinals. And she ends up with the basketball, brings it across the timeline here for the Bearcats. Just under six to go in the first. Again, tied at two. Borstead a pass right wing. Looks in for Miller cutting across the lane. Now backdoor pass and had Halverson, but Peyton couldn't quite get her, her hands to the basketball in time. It goes off her hands and out of bounds. It was a good look that time for the Bearcats, but it's going to end up being Cardinals basketball. 5.51 to go here in the first. Tied at two. It's hard across the half line. Pass over right side of Worley. Well, he gets a screen from Ronnie. Looks for the pick and roll. Now kicks it out to Crockett. Crockett will fake. Put up a shot from 14. Looks like it was partially blocked. It still got to the rim, but no good. Rebound to Quilvang. Out went past Halverson. Long pass down the floor. Out for the Bearcats to Borstead. And Borstead looks and gets it to Halverson out by the half line. 5.29 to go down the first. Still tied at two between the Bearcats and the Cardinals. Battle of two top five teams in the state of North Dakota in girls' hoops tonight. Peyton Halverson now. Pass down to Miller. Miller drives the lane. Drives it on Ronnie. Again, it is going to be fouled from behind. As Hart was trying to knock the ball away from behind. Might have got a piece of Steph Miller. This is going to be a shooting foul as Hart will get her first personal. First team foul against the Cardinals. 5.17 to go here in the first. And now Steph Miller, two tries to... Try to break up this two-all tie. Her first shot is up, and it is good. Bounced around a couple of times and went through. Steph Miller, a 5'7 junior. And she had 17 points in the Bearcats' last game and win Tuesday against Dunseat. Second shot is up, and that is a perfect free throw there for Steph Miller. So it's 4-2, to two, a two-point leader for the Bearcats. And now a pass down the floor to Steele. It's going to come from Borstead. Beautifully anticipated a pass up the floor by Hetler. Goes inside and then has a shot blocked by Hetler. It ends up uh, being Cardinals basketball again as Hart ends up with the ball. So good defensive plays really on both sides there. And the Cardinals have it trailing 4-2. to two. Hart free throw line. Puts up a 15-footer. Shot is up. No good. Off the back iron. Rebounds taken down by Quilvang. Outlet pass Peyton Halverson. Look for Miller. But instead will let traffic go by and set things up top of the key. And a pass over right side is going to come to Miller. Down in the corner, Borstead. Borstead up top of the key to Quilvang, who's not shy of shooting threes, even though she's 6'5 out there in the perimeter. Passes all this time to Halverson. Halverson now painting to Maya. Halverson, Maya, layup, clean lane to the basket. Shot no good, but a foul is going to be a rebound. Looked like it was to Maddie Hart, but I think she's going to be called for a foul, uh, grabbing the ball away from Macy Quilvang. That's two big fouls on Maddie Hart here in the first quarter. 
Cardinals wanted to foul the other way, but it does go against Hart for sure. Inbounds pass almost stolen by the Cardinals. Now it's going to be Quilvang into Miller. Miller off balance shot, and it's no good. Good defense again underneath by the Cardinals. They end up with the ball as Crockett will bring it across the timeline to Hetler. Hetler quickly down to the lane, passes to Ronigan. Ronigan to Hetler on the baseline. A crossover right side to Crockett, who had an open three. Doesn't, she doesn't take that, though. Now goes over right side and gets the pass, wanting to force a pass into Hart. That's knocked out of bounds for the Bearcats. Horstead knocked it out. Rachel Hill's going to check in for the Cardinals. She's a 5'6 junior. They're going to take Hart out now. <clears throat> At least you would think for the rest of this first quarter of two personal fouls. Big, big situation there for the Cardinals. As Hetler's going to inbound, tries to inbound to Worley. That's knocked out of bounds by Peyton Halverson. So 4-2, to two, North Star still leading. 4.09 to go here in the first. Cardinals look to tie. Again with one of their leading scorers now on the bench. One of their big three scorers in the season. Hetler will step up, try a shot from 16. That's no good. Rebound tipped and taken by Quilbang. Outlet pass for the Bearcats to Borstead. Borstead quickly down in the lane. He's going to be fouled by Hetler on a reach. Reach and fouled by Kelly, Kelly Hetler. Her first, team's third. And 3.58 to go first quarter. Borstead leading 4-2 to inbounding down their baseline to the new shot clock. Borstead looks and lobs it in trying to get it to Quilbank. It's knocked away though. It's on the baseline. It's going to be stolen away by Rachel Hill. Hill races up the floor. She's got running it with her on a two-on-two break. Shot is put up in the lane. No good. Rebound's going to be saved by Hill, but it's going to end up out of bounds. Nope, it saved him. Inbound saved to, the Borst- to uh, Matty Borstead to the Bearcats. Matty quick pass down inside to Quilbank. Reverse layup by the 6'5 senior is good. And it's 6-2, to two, North Star by 4, 3.29 to go here in the first, and the Cardinals want a timeout. On the market, we'll meet a glenn by now, trailing by 4, 6-2. to two. <clears throat> And the Cardinals limb down here to Kelly Hetler. First time out to the game uh, for either team taken there by the Cardinals. Pass right side out of Worley. Worley moves around inside, gets around. Halverson forces up a shot at the glass, and it's good. Tough shot for Worley over a double team. She got it to go. Makes it 6-4. to four. And North Star will come back with a lead trim down to two. Peyton Halverson to the basketball now. Top of the key to reverse that inside high post now. Actually goes to Quilvang. Macy looks, goes left side to Maya Halverson. To Borstead, top of the key. And a pass out inside, knocked away and out of bounds by Hitler. Well, teams playing some pretty solid defense here in the early going. That's why we're so low scoring at the moment. 6-4 to four Bearcats. 16 seconds on the North Star shot clock. They'll inb- inbound to get it down to the corner to Miller. Up top uh, to Maya Halverson out of Peyton left side. Uh, to Maya and inside they try to work into Quilbang. Ball's knocked away by Ronigan though. It's stolen by Hedler. Four turnovers against North Star compared to one against the Cardinals so far. Crockett now with the basketball. Brings a pass up top of the key to Hetler. Left side goes to Ronigan. Callie drives free throw line. Passes right side and they'll get it to Crockett. Down the corner to Hetler. Hetler works down inside. Jump pass to the baseline to Ronigan. Callie shot from 16 is short. Open look there, but it wouldn't fall. Rebound comes off and it's taken by Peyton Halverson. We're hearing Peyton and Maya Halverson for the Bearcats tonight. They are sisters, by the way. As the Bearcats are the pass over right side now to Miller. Miller down in the lane. Puts up a runner around Ronigan. It's up in too hard. No good. Rebound to Callie Ronigan. Gets an outlet pass to Worley. The Cardinals will try it again now. Trailing by 2. 2-10 to play here in the first. And the Cardinals, Hetler. Pass right side to Rachel Hill. Hill looks in for Ronigan. Now pass up to Worley. Worley will fake a three. Has Peyton Halverson all over defensively there. So they'll go out to Hetler. will fire a three. That's going to be up and too strong. Rebound taken down by Quilbang. The Bearcats will have it again to the two-point lead. 1.45 to go here in the first. And a pass left side will come to Borstead. Borstead goes down, looks down to the corner, actually. Gets a pass down the top of the key. Right side, they'll swing it to Peyton Halverson. Allie Welsh, a senior, getting ready to come in. Pass for cross. Now they get a Cardinals, or the Bearcats, I should say, get a pass to Quilbang. Or shot, no good. Hits the bottom of the backboard. But rebound comes to Miller. She'll pull up a runner from eight. No good. And a rebound comes to the Cardinals and Ronigan. They'll swing it around uh, to Hetler. Still 6-4 to four Bearcats. Now 1.15 to go in the first. Hetler dribbles top of the key. Right side on the perimeter. Goes out to Ronigan. Ronigan, just a freshman out there for the Cardinals tonight. And a pass left side, now go to Hill. Hill in the corner to Worley. Or excuse me, to Crockett. Crockett looks inside, finds Worley cutting to the hoop, and Worley's going to be fouled before a shot inside. Foul's going to be called the first against the Bearcats tonight. And it's going to come to Matty Borstetter, first personal. First team foul against the Bearcats. Kelly Hushley. 
We'll check in for the Bearcats tonight. She's been kind of the six-man player role for the uh, Bearcats this year. And she'll check in a 5'8 senior for the first time. Also, Allie Welsh will check in a senior for the Cardinals. Welsh just gets the inbounds pass. They'll swing it right side of Worley. Worley double-teamed outside. They lost her footing as she drives into the basket. Cardinals wanted a foul. Didn't get it. Borstead ends up with it. Tries a layup. No good. Good defense by Rachel Hill. And now Crockett with the basketball. Crockett is going to end up losing the basketball. Gets it back. Then is called for charging it to Peyton Halverson. And un, uh, out of control there is Aaron Crockett. And it's going to be your first personal two, team, two uh, turnovers, I should say, against the Cardinals. That's 14 fouls against them. Still 6-4. to four. Beer counts have it again. Quilbang now. Left side goes to Hushley. 35 seconds to go in the first. Up top of the key, Miller. Miller looks right side. It goes to Quilbang. 20 seconds on the shot clock for the Bearcats. Macy steps back for three. Shots on the way, and it's too hard. Rebound on the weak side, though, comes to Miller for North Star. Shot clock is off now. Bearcats could hold it for one if they want. We'll see. And I think that's what Jill Volt wants. As a pass comes left side, and a re he, the pass is going to end up being a foul. Reaching foul on Worley. Her first, team's fifth. 18.8 seconds to go here, first quarter. And a Bearcats will inbound. Ken shot clock is off. They can hold it for one shot. Now they do see Coach Vote, so they are going to hold it for one here. Uh, with 15 seconds to go on the first. Pass right side. Now out by the uh, half line comes to Miller. Now to Peyton Halverson to Borstead. Five seconds to the pass by Borstead. It's knocked away by Worley. Battle for the loose ball. It's on the floor. And it's going to be in a jump ball. The Bearcats have the possession. And they'll get another chance at it here with 1.3 seconds to go uh, here in the first quarter. Can't say enough about the nice crowd on hand for the Cardinals and the Bearcats tonight. A capacity crowd here in Langdon. All right, here come the Bearcats. Inbounds comes to Hushley. A three blocked by Wally. And that will end up fine defense. And the Cardinals will inbound here. Again, six to four the score. Cardinals with the basketball now. So that is Hetler. And Hetler looks over right side, gets a screen from Hill, then almost lost the ball. Gets it back to now tries to fire a pass into Hart. It's knocked out of bounds. Uh, let's see. That's Peyton Halverson. Get in a hand on that to knock it out, and the Cardinals will keep it. Hitler inbounds down to the baseline. Peyton Halverson, a quick rest on the bench, is going to come right back in here now. As we come in, and Hushley will check out. Cardinals to throw it in. And they look here. Hitler looking and brings it over right side to Hart. Now to Hitler. Hitler a three from the corner, and it's just short. Cardinals having all kinds of trouble from the field. Actually, neither team has really that, been that impressive from the outside so far tonight, and that's why it's still 6-4 to four here again. Bearcats now have it. Left corner with it is Quilbane. Up top of the key, Peyton Halverson. 7.30 to go in the half. Halverson a pass right side to Borstead. Borstead looks and trying to get it to Miller, who's guarded closely by Rachel Hill. Pass inside now is actually knocked away, but Quilbang ends up getting it, and she cuts right to the basket to get a quick hoop. Basket there by Macy Quilbang, who has four, and it's eight to four. Four-point lead for the Bearcats. Cardinals will come across again at Hart. Hart a bounce pass over right side of Worley. Fakes the three, drives it on Peyton Halverson, and it's going to be fouled. Almost kind of tripped as she goes in the lane. Yeah, hopefully Jordan Worley is okay. As she went down hard to the floor. I might have got the wind knocked out of her, it looks like, underneath the basket, which is... Uh, Terrible feeling if that's ever happened to you. Jacob Langdon, member FDIC. The Osnabrock Farmers Co-op Elevator is here to fully serve you for all your agriculture needs, including seed, fertilizer, chemical, custom application, and grain marketing. With fast grain unloading and top-of-the-line service, they're here to serve you now as well as in the future. Call to sign up for daily grain bids sent directly to your phone. The Osnabrock Farmers Co-op Elevator, with stations in Osnabrock, Nakoma, and Langdon, your genuine farmer-owned cooperative. Folks, we're back here to live action as the Cardinals' Rachel Hill just put up a shot here from 16. The shot no good, and it's going to be a foul on the rebound against the Cardinals. Jordan Worley, good news there, and we hope it's good news, even better news. She walked off under her own power rather rather gingerly, but uh, walked over to the end of the bench, and now they they just took her down to the locker room to, to make sure that she is okay and be able to return, and we hope that is uh, definitely the case here. Is, um, she went down very awkwardly underneath the basket. Did walk off the floor, though, under her own power, which is definitely a good sign. All right, the Bearcats up to the foul called here, and Callie Ronigan on the Cardinals. Bearcats have the ball back, and they get a pass to the baseline, and Miller gets open on the baseline, and the shot's up and good. 10-4 Bearcats, and the Cardinals are going to take a timeout. 
Uh, I continue action here. Lane did more Munich taking their second time out of the contest. They don't have three left to use. Bearcats have yet to use the timeout. Cardinals have the basketball. Matty Hart dribbles right side. And looking to get down to the baseline. It's cut up though by Halverson. Now to drives to drive through. The ball's knocked down on the floor. Ends up with Borstead getting it. And then Borstead's going to be fouled. And it's going to be a foul called against the Cardinals. And it's going to be coming against Rachel Hill, her first personal. And it's going to be bonus time here for North Star. Bearcats uh, will uh, have it, leading 10-4 and shooting free throws. Here will be Matty Borstad, one in the chance for another. Borstad, a 5-4 senior. 6-10 to go here yet in this first half. And Borstad's free throws up and good. Matty, three points now tonight here for North Star and the Bearcats. Of course, North Star went to the uh, State Girls Basketball Tournament last year, took third place. Honors. And the second shot is up and good. So that is going to open up an eight-point lead now here for North Star. Cardinals looking for some offense. They've had good looks at the basket. Just have not had a whole lot drop. It's just four points scored so far. Cardinals with it over right side. With it is Crockett. Crockett to the free throw line. Now looks in for Ronigan. Now passes right side to Hetler. Hetler drives in as uh, Quilvang picks her up defensively. And Quilve, or I should say Hetler, will come over left side and bring a pass to Crockett. Crockett to Hetler, wide open, and she'll fly a three, and it's too hard. Rebound taken down, and it comes out here to the Bearcats, ending up with it is Peyton Halverson. Halverson to Borstead, looks down inside, trying to get a pass to Peyton Halverson, who went through her hands, actually to Maya, uh, but it ends up coming out to Quilvang. Bearcats are reset now, up top of the key with Miller. Miller left side to Borstead, wanting to pass out inside over the head and out of bounds of Maya Halverson. Five turnovers on North Star. Cardinals will have it again. Uh, again, looking to find... Uh, Find a way to get the basketball through the hoop here. Trailing 12-4. to 4. They've yet to score here in the second. And Hetler has it top of the key. Hetler right side gets a pass to Crockett. Crockett looks for a screen. Nothing there. Goes back to Hetler. They're trying to get Maddie Hart open, but they've got uh, her double covered over on the left side. They do get a pass to Hart. Maddie steps up. She's going to take a tough 18-foot shot that's going to be short. Rebound's taken down, and it comes out to Miller. Quick outlet pass goes to Maya Halverson. Maya on the fast break. Shot is up. No good, but a foul is going to come against the Cardinals. The shot was blocked by Ronigan, uh, but this might be a foul called here again on the other side. We'll see who it is called on. And it's going to be actually called on Callie Ronigan. It's going to get her second. 18 fouls against the Cardinals. And Maya Halverson out of the free throw line to shoot two shots. And Halverson's first shot is up no good. Short. Allie Walsh will check back in here for line to Deborah Munich. Hart is going to sit down. We see Jordan Worley now coming out of the locker room. And uh, again, hopefully she'll be able to continue here for the Cardinals. After being in, uh, going down to the bit of an injury here early in the quarter. Second shot by Halverson is good. It's a nine-point lead for North Star, 13 to 4. Under five minutes to go here in the half. Cardinals with a pass right side of Welsh. That's knocked out of bounds by Peyton Halverson. And Worley's going to come back into the game here. There's a nice hand from the crowd as she checks back in. And a nice hand here from both crowds here, which is awesome to see. As Crockett will sit down, Worley back in. Hill now gets the inbounds here for the Cardinals. And a pass right side is going to come to Hitler. Hitler looks and wanting to go inside, trying to get a pass to Welsh. Ball hits through her hands, but it's taken by Hill. And Hitler's going to step up, try yet another three, and it's too hard again. Rebound's going to be taken down, and it comes to the Bearcats. 13 to 4, North Star, and they've got the ball again. Cardinals still are scoreless here in the second. 4.28 to play in the half. And the Bearcats with a pass over right side with this Halverson in the corner to Miller. Miller with Hill right with her. Now dribbles to the free throw line, trying to lob the pass inside of Quilvang. He wasn't looking for it. The ball is picked off on the back side by Hetler. Hetler will dribble back across. Quickly over left side, gets down to the lane, and fires the pass left side of Hill in the corner to Welsh. Welsh looked at a three. Steps up, goes back down to the corner to Hetler. Hetler steps to the free throw line, 15-footer. No good, too hard. Rebound's going to be taken down here by the Bearcats. 3.55 to play here in the half. Lob pass in. They get it to Quilvang this time. She's got it. Shot off the glass. It's up and good. Macy Quilvang with six. And it's the first double-digit lead of the night for North Star. Bearcats had a 9 nothing run here in the second quarter. And there's still 3.45 left to go in it. Cardinals will try it again. Haven't had a lot of shot attempts for their big three scorers here tonight. Worley, Hart, and uh, run again. Run, and now Worley finally gets a chance at a three-pointer here. But it's up and too hard. Rebound taken down by the Bearcats. And Peyton Halverson, left side, brings the pass to Borstead, drops it off to Quilvang, goes way out of the perimeter, so they get a pass back to Borstead, pass right side to Peyton Halverson. Halverson, nice move, right side, gets down around Hitler and puts the shot up and in. And that's going to be Peyton Halverson's first basket tonight, 17-4 to Bearcats. Cardinals again across. 
And at the right side is going to be Hitler. Hitler, nice pass inside to run again. And Cali again cannot get anything to try a shot over uh, Quillbang, so they'll swing it up top of the key to Hearts. Or to Hill, I should say. Now they bring it into Worley. Worley gets around. Miller finally gets two for the Cardinals and finally gives this big crowd a chance to cheer about something as it's the first basket of this quarter here for Lady Airborne Munich. 17 to 6. Bear Cats will look to answer down. 2.41 to go in the half. As Miller pass up top of the Katie Crowbang. Left side to Peyton Halverson. Peyton looks back door for Crowbang. And now instead of bringing top of the key, Borstead. Borstead, right uh, wing, comes to Quilvang, down to the corner to Halverson. Halverson fakes, trying to get around Hitler again. This time she's cut off. Five seconds of the shot clock to go to Borstead. Borstead shot over uh, Ron again. It's up and good. Big basket there for Maddie Borstead. Makes it 19 to 6. 13 point lead again. Leader of a Baker's dozen here for, uh, for North Star. Ron again gets the pass down to the baseline. And shot won't go there, so they're going to get, she won't put up a shot, I should say. Bring it back to Hetler, and Hetler with a shot too hard off the glass, no good. Rebound is going to be taken down, and it comes off to the Bearcats. 19-6, to North Star. And a pass right side is going to be taken by Miller. Miller down to the lane, down to the corner, goes to Borstead. Borstead a pass, and they work at the quill bang. Macy off balance, shot at the glass, and 10 is good. Not an easy shot there for Macy. She got it to go. It's 21-6, to and the Cardinals need to burn another timeout. From brakes and struts to tune-ups and exhaust work and to install that block heater, check out A&W Standard's tire sale. Going on now. A&W Standard of Candor wants to wish the teams good luck in today's game. A&W Standard of Candor for all your auto repairs. Call 968-3358. A&W Standard. Okay, folks, coming out of the uh, timeout. Nice. Give and go off the timeout from... Ronigan to actually Worley to Ronigan and back to Jordan Worley cutting to the hoop. Worley has six of the Cardinals now, eight points. It is 21 to 8. Cardinals, I think that was actually 30 second timeout, not a full. He just got back in time for that basket. Bearcats have it now. Just over a minute to go in the half. Right side of it is Halverson. Halverson looks back door. Kelly Hushley back into the game here for North Star. As Borstead looks inside and gets a pass, and they get it to Miller. She'll turn to the left hand, and a shot's up and in. Steph Miller, dangerous at the right or left hand. It shows why there. Makes it 23-8. to eight. Just under a minute to go here in the second quarter and in this first half. Cardinals down with it left side run again. Cowley's going to dribble up top of the key and flip the pass back to Worley. Jordan will try a quick three, and it's just off the mark. No good. Rebounds uh, tipped out into the corner. Left corner by the Cardinals basket. Hepler's got it. And goes to Welsh. Welsh brings it into Worley. Worley shot inside blocked by Quillbang. Gets her second block of the night, and ending up with it will be Halverson. Now to Borstead. Now to Miller. Miller in the lane. Shot from 10 is good. And Steph Miller exploding now. Six points in this quarter, eight points in the game. 17-point lead for North Star. And down to 15 seconds to go here in the half. Cardinals with it. Hard up top of the key. Gets a nice move down to the lane. Is going to draw a blocking foul as she goes inside. And a foul is going to be called on whom? And foul is going to be called on Maddie Borstead, her second. Three team fouls on the Bearcats. 12.5 seconds to go in the half. And Maya Hovers will check in now for Borstead. It will sit down on those two personals. Cardinals will inbound, trying to get one last shot to go up here. And Hitler inbounds, right side gets it to Welsh. In the corner to Hart. Hart a three, and it's too hard. Rebound comes up to Quilbang. And now it passes from right to Matty Harder. Gets it on a steal, and it's going to be fouled coming back across the half line. Blocking foul is going to be called on Kelly Hushley. So Hart to steal. Seven turnovers on North Star. Cardinals only have two turnovers in the first half, but it's still 25 to 8 on North Star out of front. There are 4.4 seconds to go down the half. The pass will come to Hart. Hart, left side goes to Ronigan. One second, they get it to Hart. She'll throw the three at the buzzer, and it's just so... In down here at the uh, North Star, and they'll do it here at half court. But first day bounty to Peyton Homer, so that we are under, underway. As the pass left side is going to come to Miller. Miller up top of the key. Cardinals will take her and try a little zone defense here. Now as a pass to, by Horstead knocked away by Aspeak. He didn't actually have to argue to call it. He wanted over and back. That ball was knocked away there by Worley. Uh, Worley looked like she knocked it uh, in the back corner. The Bearcat touched it after that. As they pass inside now over the Bearcat, shot is going to be up and missed. Rebound comes out to Hart. It goes down uh, the other way, and a foul is going to be called here. It was actually Worley shooting. A foul is called before a shot against Maya Halverson. It will be her first first team foul against North Star. Cardinals inbound. It bounds right to Hart. Her first real open three-pointer of the night, and it's going to be up and no good. Rebound comes to Worley in the lane. Chips up and up and in. Jordan Worley will make it 24 to, or 25 to 10. 
Heller, right side to Crockett. Crockett will step up, put up an 18-footer, and it's going to be in and out, no good. Rebound is going to be saved by Peyton Halverson, saved to Maya. Maya gets it back to Peyton, who's triple teamed on the up by the half line, and a timeout's going to be called by the Bearcats to avoid a turnover. 3210 to get your project started right. Okay, a timeout taken there by the Bearcats. They have three timeouts left to use. Cardinals have one, but it's a 24-point leader down for North Star. The Bearcats have the ball. 3.40 to go here in the third. As a pass down inside is to be knocked away, but Quilvang gets it, and Quilvang puts up a shot. No good, gets her own rebound, and the second shot will go. Tough luck for Macy there. The rebound's going to be out of bounds, though. Last touch by Callie Ronigan. Ronigan looks like she was trying to clear the ball and just lost it right out of her hands, turning, uh, trying to turn the other way. So the Bearcats will have it. The inbounds pass will come to Maya Halverson. Peyton up top of the key. New shot clock here the Bearcats. Now to Miller. Quick pass inside to Quilvang. Quilvang a shot over to Ronnie. Get us up and in. 38 to 12. A three, uh, a 26 point leader for the Bearcats. 319 to go here in the third quarter. Cardinals now with it. Hetler up top of the key to Hartz. To Hetler. Again they're leaving. As the Cardinals. Hetler looks inside. Has Crockett wide open but through the pass through her legs. Pass too low and it goes on a bounce. Bearcats will get it back. Crowders are letting uh, Hitler and Crockett, or should the Bearcats letting Hitler and Crockett take all the shots they want tonight. They're trying to shut down uh, the the three scoring monster of Worley running it at heart tonight and they have done that. They, again, have held those three players to just 12 points uh, combined. And 12 points for the Cardinals as a team tonight. Maya Halverson now with it. 2.45 to go here in the third. As with it is going to be Quilvang. Dribbles out in the right corner. And gets a pass. Now they bring it to Peyton Halverson. Peyton lobs it into Miller. Nice pass. No shot. No good. Partially blocked. Halverson gets it. Her shot blocked by Hitler. Hart comes away with it here for the Cardinals. And Maddie Hart now with a pass to Crockett. Crockett will dribble to the free throw line. Pass back to Hart. Three on the way. And it's in the hole. The Cardinals finally get one, to, one from downtown to go through. At a 38 to 15. But it comes with 2.19 to go here in the third. Bearcats are there across the timeline as Quilvang. Macy looks for and brings a pass to Halverson. Halverson over right side to Borstead. Maddie looks inside for Quilvang. Finds her. As Quilvang is shot of the baseline for 10 is up and in. Yeah, but she gets good position. Tough to stop inside the 6'5 senior. Uh, Macy Quilvang will be playing college basketball at NDSU. Cardinals quickly come up. They come up with Hetler. Puts up a shot from 12 and steps up and takes a shot that's no good. It's too hard. Rebound's going to come back here uh, to the Bearcats. It's Peyton Halverson lost the ball, but it comes to his younger sister, Maya, who goes back to Peyton, top of the key. Right side, Borstead looks in for Quilvang. And Quilvang gets the pass in traffic. First shot, no good. Second shot will go, but she's fouled. And she's going to go to the line to shoot what will be her first free throws of the night. And a foul is going to be called to get on Macy or uh, Kelly Ronigan. It's going to be her fourth. They understand now in that uh, battle of the number one team in the state. Forward's going to lock it to boys basketball. They are losing as the first shot by Quilvang, by the way, up and in. Forward's going to lock it is now losing to Hillsborough Central Valley by seven. 45-38 after three quarters. Second shot by Quilvang is good. 42 to 15. The, the Bearcats stretch out their lead just by to three or more points. We're going to see the continuous clock here in the fourth quarter, as we never thought we'd see uh, here tonight. With the battle of the one and five teams in the state. As the Cardinals now have it, down 42-17. They get a pass to Worley. Nice pass in the red to Ali Welsh, who shot blocked easily inside by Quilvang. And he's up with it is going to be Miller. And a frustrating night for Lane Deborah Munich, no question about that. And reason some good defense here by the Bearcats, no doubt about that either. As Borstead has it down to the corner for the Bearcats, lost the ball, dribbling into the lane. Gets it back, now lost the ball again, gets it back again, and now she's going to be fouled right side. Reach in foul against the Cardinals. And it's going to come to Maddie Hart, who's going to get her third personal. Hart is, well, that three-pointer by Maddie Hart over in this quarter, by the way, were her first points of the night. Bearcats ready now as Halverson. Gets it to Hushley. Kelly Hushley's checked in for Maya Halverson. Did that a few moments ago. Now Peyton Halverson in the corner to Miller. Drops it off. The club angle over to Hushley is wide open. And away of it in. Hushley, her first two of the night. Makes it 44 to 15. Bearcats out in front. 42 seconds to go here in the third. And the Cardinals back here now with Harden. Gets a screen from Welsh. Now drops a pass inside to Worley. Jordan to the left hand. Shot blocked from behind. But they're going to call a foul. 
perhaps against Macy Corbang here, which will be her first foul of the night. And yeah, that is... Well, we'll see. I didn't... Uh, well, you're actually going to call it on Kelly Hushley from the other side. So, no foul on Corbang, and Hushley gets her first as Worley to the free throw line. This is the first free throws to the Cardinals as a team tonight. 34 seconds to go in the third, and Worley misses the first one. She'll get another. She leaves the Cardinals with eight points. Her second shot is up, and that is no good. Well, that explains a lot about the night it's been for the Cardinals. 44-15, Quilbang the rebound. There can't have it again at Halverson. Halverson right side to Hushley. Now top of the key, Borstead. Borstead left side to Peyton Halverson. Peyton in the lane, and looks and brings it up top of the key to Hushley. Hushley, well, the dribbles right side. Shot clock is off here. Ten seconds to go in the corner. Quarter. Bearcats trying to get that last shot in as Miller looks in for Corolla. Lobs it in to her. She's got it. Shot up the glass. Rolls around and comes off. And a foul on the rebound. It's going to come to the Bearcats and Peyton Halverson. Peyton will get her second. Third team foul against the Bearcats. Two seconds left for the Cardinals to try to get one last shot up here. As Hart waiting for it, and we'll get the uh, inbounds and fire it up for three-quarter court. That is on the way. Oh, well, we've got to get a chance, but it... Cardinals are going to get the basketball here. It's a 29-point lead for the Bearcats. 44-15, to 15, and if North Star would score well, Cardinals obviously they could get some uh, baskets here, too, but... It's going to be the Cardinals. And probably lots of fans heading to the exit to get out into this cold night here to... I guess with a big enough crowd here, they're, I guess we can honestly say they're, they're getting out to avoid the traffic, getting out early tonight, because there are a, there were a lot of people here at the start of tonight's game. Cardinals trail by uh, 29 as we in the fourth quarter, 44 to 15 Bearcats. As Matty Hart with the basketball goes to Hill. Hill looks and brings it left side of Worley. Worley fakes. Drives down inside, makes a nice move, gets to the basket, but a shot is partially blocked by Halverson. As Worley gets her own rebound and gets a pass to Crockett, is going to be fouled. Foul is going to be called Amaya Halverson, her second. 14 fouls on North Star, no shot on the foul. We haven't seen, uh, again, a whole lot of free throws tonight, as I mentioned. Inbounds pass will come to Hart, catch and shoot three on the inbound. Shot is up, though, no good. Rebound saved in by Ronigan. Ah, uh, but no, she didn't. Her foot was on the, on the end line, they'll say. And let's see here. The Bearcats are going to have it. Three-quarter court pressure put on by the Cardinals. Actually, more full court man-to-man. Steph Hiller is dribble up here for North Star. 44 to 15. As the Bearcats have it over right side. Borstead has it. And a pass down inside. They find Miller. Step, uh, waits to post up. Puts up a shot over Crockett, though. No good. Rebound is going to come again. Here to the Bearcats. Maya Holbers at the rebound. She's foul going back up. And a foul's going to be called on Lange at more Munich. And it's going to be called on Maddie Hart, which will be her fourth personal. 44-15. to 15, And now, if the uh, if Holverson hits one of these two shots, that would make it a 30-point game. And we'll put the continuous clock rule in effect. But Holverson, first, her first shot is up and no good. 7.15 to go here in the fourth. Continuous clock rule for boys and girls basketball this year. If it's one team gets ahead of the other by 30 or more points, the clock runs on everything except uh, timeouts and injuries. And it is a 30-point lead right now for the Bearcats. 45-15. And the Cardinals, an absolute frustrating night for them offensively. Just 15 points here in the fourth quarter. And a pass right side is going to come to Hill. Hill in the corner goes to Hart. Hunter lost the ball. Is looking inside to pass. The ball's picking her pocket with Steph Miller. Five turnovers on Langenor Moore Munich. There's only been 12 turnovers tonight, folks. Five against the Cardinals, seven against the Bearcats. And North Star will come up again. Miller at the left side. Gets a pass free throw on to Borstead. They'll drop it into Quilbang. The ball's knocked, so he knocked away by Ron again, and it's going to be a jump ball inside. Bearcats will keep it. <laughs> And the Bearcats are going to inbound. Uh, down to the baseline, Borstead. Borstead lobs it in and is trying to get it to Quilbank. Well, good position, though, by Ron again. She'll end up with getting a steal of the basketball and then be fouled. Foul's uh, going to come to the Bearcats, Amaya Halverson, who got her third. 45 to 15. I mean, and uh, just like we mentioned, even though the ball ends up out of bounds here, the clock still runs until the Cardinals. If the Cardinals get a basket in this possession, for example, they'd be within 30 points. They'd get it down to 28. We'll go back to a regular clock. Six minutes to play here for 45-15 Bearcats. Cardinals up top of the key with it. Ronigan 
Ronigan dribbles, trying to work it around Halverson. Now puts up a shot inside his blocks. Ball ends up in the hands of Worley. Worley has shot no good. Rebound to Allie Welsh. Her shot way short. And a rebound is going to come off here to the Bearcats. Miller, long pass down to Borstead. He gets behind the defense. Layup is up, and it is good. Eight points for Borstead. And it's 47-15. Now a 32-point leader for the Bearcats. Hill across the timeline up top of the key. Pass right side will come to Worley. She'll fly a three, and it's too hard. Rebound's taken down by Halverson. Maya Halverson to the board. Now led pass to Miller. Miller right side, and now they go to Quilvang in the corner. Quilvang looks inside, comes up top of the key. Pass left side will come to Maya Halverson. Halverson up top to Quilvang. He's got Ronigan out there on her. Cardinals Ronigan and Hart now play the four fouls. Both out there on the floor. Pass left side, Maya Halverson to Borstead. Five minutes to go. Ten seconds on the Bearcat shot clock. Left side, Maya Halverson. Left wide open. She'll play her shot from 17, and it's too hard. Rebounds tipped back over to Steph Miller. Her shot partially blocked. And coming away, there's going to be Hill. Hill, an outlet pass. Almost thrown away. It is thrown away. No, it's tipped out of bounds, they'll say. By the Bearcats, Cardinals will have it back. And both these teams have district games next week. And... Uh, North Star travels to St. John on Tuesday. Mike Gilmore Munich actually travels in girls basketball to play Rollout Wolford in Rollout on Monday. Cardinals in the right side and with it is Welsh. Welsh down in the corner, brings it to Crockett. Crockett, nice pass across the way, goes to Hill and her shot up, no good. Rebounder run again and she'll be fouled. Putting up a shot back, or putting shot back up, I should say. And a foul's gonna come to Macy Quilvang, who will get her first. Well, our Farmers and Merchant State Bank players in the game tonight at our post-game show. Stay tuned for that. And of course, uh, final totals and some other scores. We told you uh, four wins in a walk at number one boys team in the state was trailing Hillsboro Central Valley by seven after three quarters. As Ronigan's first shot is up and good. Callie Ronigan, five points tonight. And her second shot is up and that's good. Two from the line for Callie Ronigan. And the Cardinals now are going to bring, up, bring in some of their uh, younger players. Hart has come off the floor. Now Worley checks out. Elia Janice, the sophomore, will come in. And also, uh, let's see here. Coming in is going to be uh, Kaelin Crockett has checked in. Bearcats leading their starters out here, at least for the moment. Long pass going to go down to Quilvang. is wide open, and a shot's up and in. Macy Quilvang, a quick basket. 49-17. And with it is Hetler. Hetler, pass on the wing, goes to Eric Crockett. Crockett, left side, looking for Welsh, but threw the ball three rows up into the stands. Showing off her strength tonight. Is uh, Eric Crockett on that pass. Well, the Bearcats will get it back. Is checking out to be Morgan Freeze. He was a seventh grader. She, of course, from Ed Moore, the sister of Fallon Freeze. He was... They had another nice season with the UND women's basketball team. Bearcats now with the basketball is with it up top of the key. Here's Quilvang. Kelly Hushley back in here. Is checked in for Maya Halverson to the Bearcats. As they get a little lob in to Quilvang. And Quilvang's layup this time is no good. Rebound's going to be out of bounds. Last touched uh, by the Bearcats. And the Cardinals will have it back. Sue so Bearcat players now be coming into the game as... Danny Rader will check in. Daniel Rader, a 5'7 senior, should come in as Borstead will check out. But 2.15 to go here in the fourth. 32-point lead for the Bearcats, 49-17, as Welsh gets a pass, free throw line. Pass left side now to Kalen Crockett, puts up a shot from 16, shot no good. Rebound's going to come off to Peyton Halverson. Two minutes left to go in the fourth. Halverson to Miller, back to Halverson, she'll fly a three, and it rolls around and comes off. Rebound to Quilvang, will put it up and in. And a timeout's going to be taken by the Bearcats to bring in some new players with 153 to go here in the fourth. Time out will be playing here, I guess. So let's do that. And the Cardinals will inbound here with Morgan Freegee. Under three minutes to play now, we're told in boys basketball. Hillsborough Central Valley leading four wins. Middle Rock in 58-54. to Cardinals will have it now. Elia Janice has checked in. Let's get these new Bearcats players to you here, too. And new Cardinals says with the basketball... His handle, Lundeby, for lined it up more Munich. Freegee now inside to Lundeby. Turns to the basket and lost the ball on the floor. It's going to be a jump ball in the Bearcats. Oh, Cardinals will keep it. Jasmine Heisler, a 5'7 freshman, is, is into the game now here for North Star. Also in is Brianna Bowman, a 5'3 junior. That's a Danny Rader in the game. Cardinals get an inbounds pass right to Hannah Lundeby. It gets a quick basket up and in. 51 to 19 with 110 left to go here. Big lead here again for the Bearcats. The pass left side will come to Hushley. 
Ashley to Heisler. Heisler over right side. Gets it to Maddie Peters, who's in the game now, too, for North Star. 5-4 freshman. As a pass left side, it's going to be stolen away. Kaylin Crockett with it. Crockett all the way down the floor. Layup is up, and it won't go. It's, again, just that kind of night for the Cardinals. A wide open layup, and it does not go in. Rebound to the Bearcats. Maddie Peters, a 5-4 freshman, has it. Pass right side, almost stolen by Freegie. Ends up with a, coming to Hushley. 35 seconds to go. Hushley almost lost the ball, gets it back, and brings it out of the wing here to Bowman. Inside it goes to Hushley. Kelly in the shot at the glass. Won't go. Rebound to Elias Janice. And Janice is looking down court. Cardinals also have Lexus Olsen in the game. She's got it right side. Goes to Janice. Janice the three, and it's short. Rebound. It's going to come off to the Bearcats, and they can just dribble it out here if they want to. Shot clock is off. The Bearcats will bring it across here and bring it past Peters uh, to Heisler. Five seconds left. And up top of the key, Bowman. Bowman over right side. Uh, two reader, and that's going to be it right there. Final score. Bowman on the house of our Farmers Club over the scoreboard for girls basketball here for Langdon. It is first off 15 reader, number 19.